On September 5th, 2027, humanity will reach a milestone unlike any other. On that date, Voyager 1, the most distant object ever touched by human hands, will have been traveling through space for 50 years. At nearly 38,000 miles per hour, it will be a staggering 176 astronomical units from the Sun, roughly 24 light hours away. But that's only the beginning. If it continues its journey uninterrupted, it will take 300 years just to reach the icy inner edge of the Oort cloud, and a mind-bending 40,000 years to approach the next closest star. But what lies beyond? Where will Voyager go across the vast silence of a billion years? What will it witness, all alone in the dark? To understand its future, we must first honor its past. Launched with its twin, Voyager 2, this spacecraft was originally designed for a relatively modest mission, a grand tour of the outer planets. Voyager 1 was tasked with flying by Jupiter and Saturn, capturing never-before-seen images and data, forever altering our understanding of the solar system. In March of 1979, as it approached Jupiter, Voyager 1's cameras unveiled what no eye had ever seen before. Majestic cloud bands swirling with colossal storms, a faint ring system, and the iconic Great Red Spot, an eternal tempest larger than Earth. But the true surprises lay with the moons. On Io, Voyager revealed a volcanic inferno exploding with eruptions so massive they could be seen from space. Europa, meanwhile, glistened under a smooth, icy shell, hinting at a hidden ocean and possibly life beneath. By November 1980, the probe had reached Saturn. Its images revealed the breathtaking complexity of the planet's rings, countless ringlets, gaps, and the hauntingly beautiful F-ring. But the most intriguing target was Titan. With its thick orange haze and nitrogen-rich atmosphere, Titan whispered of organic chemistry, of strange weather and methane lakes of potential. Voyager's planetary mission was a triumph, but its journey had only just begun. In 1990, long after its final planetary flyby, Voyager 1 began a new phase, the Voyager Interstellar Mission. Its goal? To explore the outermost boundary of our Sun's domain, the heliosphere, and beyond. Before turning its cameras off forever, it captured one last image. Earth, a pale blue dot floating in a sunbeam, a final glance at its birthplace. In 1998, Voyager 1 passed Pioneer 10 to become the most distant human-made object. And in August 2012, it made history again, crossing the heliopause and entering interstellar space. Here, it became our silent scout, measuring magnetic fields, cosmic radiation, and the density of the galaxy itself, sending back whispers from the edge of forever. Even now, it speaks to us through a 3.7-meter high-gain antenna linking up with NASA's Deep Space Network. Spanning stations in California, Spain, and Australia, this global system keeps a lifeline open. Signals take over 20 hours to reach Earth at light speed. A narrow beam launched across billions of miles still connects us to that fragile machine. Its power comes from radioisotope thermoelectric generators, RTGs, fueled by decaying plutonium-238. But this power is fading. With each passing year, it loses about 4 watts. By 2025, it will fall silent. No more instruments, no more signals, just a ghost ship drifting onward into eternity. And yet, even in silence, Voyager 1 carries our voice. The golden record, a 12-inch gold-plated copper disc, rides aboard. It's a time capsule for the stars, filled with greetings in 55 languages, the sounds of our planet, our music, our laughter, and our longing. It's a message to the cosmos. We were here. But how far will it really go? 
unless it's shattered by micrometeoroids or stripped apart by cosmic radiation, Voyager 1 could survive for hundreds of millions or even billions of years. But time will change the galaxy itself, stars will shift, constellations will vanish, new ones will form, massive molecular clouds, supernovae and galactic tides will nudge Voyager's path in unpredictable ways. It may one day cross dense star fields or drift into the outer halo of the Milky Way, unseen, untouched, but never forgotten. Though it's unlikely to encounter any worlds or watchers, it continues forward forever. And so, Voyager 1 becomes more than a spacecraft. It becomes a symbol of curiosity, of courage, of our desire to know what lies beyond the sky. It carries the hopes of a small species from a pale blue dot, clinging to the edge of a galaxy. In the end, its journey isn't about distance, it's about what it represents. The first whisper of humanity into the void. The first ember of our light cast into cosmic night. And perhaps, one day, in the deep silence between the stars, someone or something will listen. <laughs>